Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, January 10th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across, police officers. I wonder if that's just going to be cops? Let's see if we can build off of cops here. U.S. Public Health Agency? I think by now we're all very familiar with the Center for Disease Control, yeah. Common herb in pizza? That's gotta be oregano. Perennial embarrassments for teens? Perennial, hmm. Is this gonna be parents? Yeah, that looks like it fits pretty well. Like most desserts. I think desserts are supposed to be sweet, yeah. All right, it looks like we have draw filled in here. Tie score, yeah, that's a draw, right? All right, let's see if we can fill in some of these acrosses here. Birds in a gaggle. Oh my God, look at this. We have geese on the puzzle today. Today's a very special day for the Goose of Herbalist. I'd love to see that. All right. Jeans or jodhpurs. Um, those are both different kinds of pants. Usually when they're asking for one thing or the other, the answer should be singular. Pants is the singular form of pants. <laughs> it kind of looks like a plural, but yeah, this is actually a singular noun. That's funny. Okay. Blank man, Paul Rudd superhero film. That's Ant-Man. And chum is a pal, yeah. All right, let's take a peek at our first long across here. This is probably our first theme answer where to get one's kicks. And this is wordplay that's indicated by this question mark here. What you have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. This clue is definitely making a play on the phrase where to get one's kicks, K-I-C-K-S, like where to have fun. But this is spelled K-I-X, and that's a brand of cereal, right? So I think the pun here is that you're going to be able to get your kicks in the cereal aisle. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't actually fit, does it? We're one letter too long. It should be A-I-S-L-E, right? Oh, it's not going to be the cereal aisle. It's not cereal box either. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's look at this down and see if we can get the first letter of the last word in this theme answer. Sphere. That should be an orb. Hmm. It can't be cereal box. What's the next letter? Melted chocolate EG. So melted chocolate is an example of this. It kind of just sounds like a mess to me. Maybe it's goo? That would be an example of goo, I guess, maybe. I'm just thinking of O for possibly some kind of box? Hmm. Emerged as an issue. That should be a rose, and it's a rose in the past tense because the clue is asking emerged in the past tense, and your clue and answer have to agree. New Haven alma mater for five presidents. That's Yale for sure. Activity with a lotus position. That's yoga. That reminds me of our yoga poses puzzle we had a couple of months ago. To boot. That should be as well. Oh, okay. So we're going to be able to get our kicks from a cereal bowl. Finally got it there. I could just not think of a bowl. That's so funny. Yeah, that's a pretty obvious place to find cereal. All right, let's see if we can build off this down here. Carrier based at Ben Gurion Airport. This airport is in Israel, so they're asking for the Israeli airline, and that's El Al. Okay. Dig in at dinner. I think that should just be eat. And we probably have another theme answer here. Let's take a peek. Singer songwriter nicknamed Piano Man. Isn't that Elton John? Hmm. Now I'm kind of uncertain. I don't really know that much about music. Yeah, maybe they're talking about someone else here. Ruthless ruler. That should be a tyrant, right? Yeah, you know what? Maybe this is Billy Joel. He's a very famous musician that plays the piano, right? Okay, we have Billy Joel. 
We have Cereal Bowl and Billy Joel. These are most likely our first two theme answers. I don't really see much that they have in common beyond the fact that they rhyme. Cereal Bowl, Billy Joel. Yeah, I guess maybe once we get a few more theme answers, the theme will maybe come into better focus here, yeah. Let's see if we can finish this northeast corner here. Minty drink at Churchill Downs. I think that's probably a julep. Yeah. In the countryside. Rural, I think, works here. If you're in the countryside, that's a rural area. Yeah. Okay, some hotel and restaurant staffers. I wonder what that could be. I'm not sure about that one. Let's try and build down here. Blight on the landscape. That should be an eyesore, right? That's so funny. We just had that on the puzzle two days ago, didn't we? It was just clued as blight, right? That's a funny little echo. Okay. Fix one's gaze on. I would really want that to be stare at. Sensations at amusement parks. Hmm. Is this about a sensation you would get on a roller coaster, maybe? Yeah, maybe it's thrills. You definitely get thrills in an amusement park. Okay, we have Sri here. Sri Lanka, that looks good. Word before actor and actress at the Oscars. I think best works here. Those are awards you can win. Story about Zeus or Hera, say. That could be a Greek myth. Have on should be wear. Maybe you'd be wearing something to the Oscars, yeah. And then we have BMW here, luxury German car maker. Okay, I think that all looks good. So maybe this could be valets. Yeah, you could have a valet parking your car, okay. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz writer. That was Frank L. Baum. Yeah, he wrote a lot of books about Oz. Under the weather could be ill. Gloomy atmosphere is a pall. That's so funny. I tried to guess Paul for an answer on the Saturday puzzle, and it wasn't Paul that day, but it is Paul today. Very nice. I finally got my Paul. Okay, capital insiders informally. Is that going to be Paul's? <laughs> it's kind of a homonym of Paul, right? We have Paul and Paul. Um, yeah, but this is short for politicians. Okay, let's see if this is another theme answer here. Forlorn directionless type. That definitely looks like it should be lost soul. Okay, we have another rhyming theme answer here. Bowl, Joel, and soul. Okay, well, it looks like our hypothesis is starting to pan out. Place for a ship's captain that's definitely at the helm. Letter before Iota. Okay, we're talking about Greek alphabets here. I'm sure Zeus and Hera would be able to tell us. Um, I imagine this is probably Theta. That's a Greek letter. Many family cars. This has to be sedans. Places among the troops as a journalist. That's called embedding, right? I think it's E-M-B, embeds. Let's check that. Let's look at these downs here. Got away. I really want that to be escaped. Neighbor of Ukraine, once part of the USSR. Um, hmm. Is it Moldova? Those letters look pretty good, yeah. Burglary, e.g. It's a type of a crime, I guess. Burglary would be an example of this. It's not bad idea, right? I seriously doubt it. Let's look at these acrosses here. Somewhat informally. That's gotta be sorta. This is probably our next theme answer. Let's skip that for now. Org promoting oral health. That would be the American Dental Association. Jab could be a poke. Yeah, I'm sure all of us have had a few pokes over the last year. Diabolical. That sounds evil to me. Cold and damp as a basement. Is that going to be dank? Let's see. 
Okay, yeah, burglary would be an example of a break-in. Very good, okay. And then we have elk here, antlered animal. Yes, that looks good. All right, let's take a peek at this next theme answer here. Greener energy source? Hmm, and it has to rhyme with soul? Is this gonna be clean coal? I don't know about that. Clean coal is not a real thing. Yeah, clean coal is not actually green at all. It's just kind of coal industry propaganda, yeah. Yeah, there's no such thing as clean coal. All right, let's keep moving though. Mushroom parts, that could be caps maybe? Source for maple syrup. That comes from sap, yeah, like maple sap. Xeroxes, that has to be copies. Street blank, acceptance among peers. That has to be street cred. Noted stretch of time. That could be an era, like the Obama era or something like that. Figure skating jump is an axle. Top of the line. This is kind of a crosswordy term. This is A1. You see that on the grids a lot. Yeah, it means very good. Emptiness could be a void. All right, I think this is our next theme answer here. Survey of election day voters. Okay, so this has to rhyme with Joel and bowl also. I guess it should be an exit poll. Yeah, very nice, okay. I wonder if we can build off of these downs here. Grand speech making. Could that be oration? Reveal inadvertently. I think that should be let slip. Yeah, you say something you shouldn't by accident. And discs on hi-fis. I think that should be LPs, right? Long plays, those are vinyl records. One of 435 in DC. That could be a congressional rep, right? Skedaddles could be scats, maybe? You're running away? Let's just make sure that's right. Leonard who wrote the song Hallelujah. I believe that was Leonard Cohen. I'm not 100% sure on the spelling of his name. Let's try that though. Um, this looks a little weird though. Let's look at this. Blank go bra, Ireland forever. That should be Aaron go bra, so it's not oration. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe this is going to be oratory instead. There we go, that looks really good. One across in Manhattan for short. So that would be cops in Manhattan for short. That's the NYPD, the New York Police Department. Finale could be the end. That's very appropriate to have at the very end of your puzzle. George or Lewis to William and Kate. Um, would that be a son? Are those the names of their sons? I didn't even know that, that's so funny. But here's a good example of what I was talking about before. Because they asked for George or Lewis, we have son in the singular here, yeah. If it had asked for George and Lewis, the answer would have been sons, yeah. I'm actually not sure if this is Lewis or Louis. I'm assuming because they're British, they would use the English pronunciation, but I'm not actually sure. Okay, derisive cries from the audience. Could that be Hoots? The late Alex Trebek for one, he was a host, a host extraordinaire, yeah. Marine animals with flippers, that could be seals. And barbecue skewer, is that a spit? All right, this is looking like pigeonhole, isn't it? Categorize simplistically. Yeah, that's definitely pigeonhole. And we had a pigeonhole theme a little while back too. I think it was a Wednesday puzzle that had a bunch of coups in rebuses, right? They were coups coming out of pigeonholes. That's very cute. As a pigeon fan, I really appreciate this one. All right, let's just make sure these downs are right. Distinct disparity. Yeah, that's gonna be a gap, like a pay gap. And this should be an E. Pharmacist, philanthropist, Lily. I guess that's Eli Lily. I think I've heard that name before. I'm not sure why they didn't tie that into Yale though. Aren't students that go to Yale called Eli's? Yeah, that seems like a lost cross clue opportunity there. Okay, but let's put this E in there and see if this pigeonhole will do it for us. 
All right, so that was a nice smooth Monday solve. 21 minutes, not bad at all. Um, so it looks like we had a very basic rhyming theme today. We had Cereal Bowl, Billy Joel, Lost Soul, Exit Pole, Clean Coal, Pigeon Hole. I loved all of these, except for Clean Coal. This is really bad. Um, yeah, they shouldn't be kind of promoting this as a green energy source. You could easily clue this as like industry propaganda term or something like that. Yeah, you definitely don't want to help the coal industry greenwash what they're trying to do. But yeah, other than that, I think all of these theme answers are really great. I especially loved the pun on where to get one's kicks. That's really, really cute. And it's a perfect Monday level wordplay clue. And of course, as a pigeon lover, I loved pigeonhole. It was kind of fun that we got to see Eyesore again today too. It's funny that it showed up on the most difficult puzzle of the week last week and the easiest puzzle of the week this week. Yeah, that really emphasizes the difference that cluing makes on how hard a puzzle is. When you add on the landscape to the clue blight, it makes this a lot easier to see. Yeah. And of course, the highlight of the puzzle, birds in a gaggle are geese. You love to see it. All right, I'm going to take an exit poll. Did you enjoy solving the Monday New York Times puzzle with me? Circle yes or no. Either way, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.